Tuesday, it's CWS week here in Omaha, but the biggest thing is sitting right next to me. That's Van Deeb. That's you. That's Van Deeb. That's Jay Morales. Thank you for joining us today. We really appreciate it. We enjoy these things. And today, our topic with Van Deeb is managing priorities. Managing priorities. You know, sometimes when we make these agendas, we we think, okay, what should we do this week? What should we do this week? I think this was perfect for this week. Yeah, I think this is this is something we all need reminded of. And hopefully we're going to give you some great tips today on managing your priorities. And also at the same time, we'd like you to send us questions or your comments. And uh, we'd like to visit with you about managing your, your priorities also. So absolutely. Interactive. And, oh my goodness. And there is a Typo, but that's okay. So, Van, um, we're going to start it off. Some people say, I'm so busy. I'm doing so many things. Uh, and, you know, you ask people, how are you? Oh, I'm so busy. Yeah. It, that drains me when people answer mm-hmm. me like that. I get it, too. But mm-hmm. how can we help those people? Well, everything, Jay, starts with a to-do list. You really – I don't know how – somebody in business or just in life in general, you need to have a to-do list to know what your priorities are Um, and identify what is urgent and identify what is important and then less important. But it all starts with a to-do list and all I can attest to what works for me and, and you can say what works for you, but what works for me is maybe the night before making a to-do list of what I want to accomplish the next day. Yes. Um, power and pen and paper. Right. And with all these electronic gadgets, I try to make a to-do list on my phone, and the next thing I'm getting a chat from somebody. Right. It's distracting. It's very distracting. So the other thing in managing your, your priorities is you, you also need to disconnect with social media. Oh, my God. I mean, you really do. I think a lot of people, well, I don't think I know a lot of people, including myself, we can be distracted by constantly connecting with social media. It'll get in the way of managing what you want to do that day. That doesn't mean you can't get on social media, but get your priorities out of the way first. And the other thing is, too, Jay, is a lot of people, and I'm, I was guilty of this for many, many years in my career, I'd make a to-do list a page long. Well, if you don't get everything done on it, you're going to feel like you weren't productive that day. You're going to oh, feel you're going like to beat yourself up. You're going to beat yourself up. So don't put a huge list. Give yourself a victory. So make it a short list of what you want to accomplish that day. So anything above and beyond your to-do list of managing your priorities is going to be a bonus. And it's going to be a good feeling of accomplishment. And I think when, let's go back to your social media. I, I think we are so distracted again by social media. That mm-hmm. needs to be intentional. I think most of the time when you're bored or there's nothing to do, yeah. you're just defaulting on social media, which takes you away from all of your priorities. See, I agree with that. See, I have the luxury being a lot older <laughs> <laughs> than probably most our viewers and definitely older than you. I have the luxury of knowing what it's like without social media. Oh, absolutely. No cell phones sure. in my early career, no internet. So we relied on pen and paper. We relied on waking up in the morning, looking at what our agenda was and what we want to um, get done for that day. And so, you know, so it, if you really to accomplish your priorities and manage your priorities, that's how we did. That's how everybody did it up until the Internet oh, you know, era and the social media. But hey. Social media definitely is it's helpful. There's no question. I mean, I so is cough syrup, but if you have too much of it, right, <laughs> you're, you're, it's going to make you sick. That's right. That's right. But so social media is important for a lot of us in business. Social media is important. You know, I sell my books on social media. 
Uh, people join my newsletter at vandeeb.com, which I'm going to give a pitch. It's a monthly, monthly newsletter. Let me bring that up right now. And it's all about motivation, inspiration, and empowering you to be the best you can be. And I, I try to keep it real, and I only do. it only comes out once a month. So when you sign up at vandeeb.com, you're only going to get it once a month. It's, I'm not one of these guys that sends out something every week. I don't, I don't like that. So that it's meaningful, and people look forward to it. It's very meaningful, and it's going to be empowering. It's going to be inspiring. But, but you know, so, so the message I want to give about disconnecting with social media is, is don't make that a priority. Don't make social, you know, getting on social media, that, Absolutely. That'll, get in, that'll get in the way of your accomplishment. I want to say hi to Mary. Uh, hi, Mary. Mary. So Mary, thank you for joining us. Mary says uh, on the screen, great advice. And if you want to make comments or you want to have questions, we'll bring you right up on the screen. Van, right back to it. Let's talk about pen and paper and these productivity apps and computers and all these CRMs and all these amazing things that sometimes can be distractions. Right. But the pen and paper, like you said, disconnect, put yourself in a room or in a quiet place and write down what's really important to you. Yeah. I think 90% of the people out there intend to do that. Right. And then when they actually do it, they're not being efficient with no. it. Like you said, 12 things, you only do three things. At the end of the day, you beat yourself up. Exactly. What's important to you? So here's the greatest thing about managing your priorities is let's say that I ask you today, Jay. So how are you at managing your priorities? And you respond, I'm not good at it. Right. Okay. Well, that's something we can change today. Right. You can wake up tomorrow morning and say, I will no longer say I'm bad at managing my priorities. Because if I say that, I'm going to be bad. Absolutely. Yes. Exactly. So you can start tomorrow morning by by managing managing your priorities by creating a to-do list and you know like i say make a to-do list accomplish don't put 20 items on there put five start slow start slow and then just like anything in life once you start putting this on paper like you always say mm -hmm. it will become a discipline that you'll start doing maybe the night before your work day right That'll become a habit right. where you'll always say, you know what? I got to take five minutes and write down my priorities between my appointments tomorrow. And then that will become a habit. And then it becomes natural to you. I, I think that's important because here's the whole thing about priorities. People will start writing this list and it may be meaningless. Right. Do you know what I mean? It might be too easy of a task. Right. Because there's a lot of things in life important to me that should be on this priority list. But right. What's important today, right? What's it? And, and here's the other part. Don't make it so blue sky that you can't achieve it either. No. And here's a trick that somebody taught me years ago, and it really does work, is you may end the day going, gosh, I've got a list of nine items that I want to do accomplish today. And they can be large and small tasks. And they only accomplish four. Well, here's a trick that somebody taught me is start at the bottom so if you make a list of nine items you want to accomplish tomorrow, start at the bottom. Wow. Because it's going to be mentally challenging to say to yourself, well, I didn't get items one, two, and three done. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 it really does work. And cross them off. Visibly, physically, cross off or write a line through it when you get that task done. And you can have fun with it. I think when you're talking about in one of your bullet points, you're going to talk about accomplishment, right? I think as human beings, we want to feel as if we are getting something done. Most of us, right? Just, but I think there's busy work that is like, Oh, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to file these papers, which doesn't move the needle for any business. No, but, but life gets in the way of priorities too. Oh, 100%. I mean, you can have a list of priorities tomorrow and then something with your children, something with your significant other, or maybe a meeting runs was supposed to last an hour, last three hours. Yes. Maybe, um, you know, there's some conflict during that day. You have to be okay with that. 
and then just carry it on to the next day if you didn't accomplish it that day. But being prepared and focused will get you past some of the challenges because I know people who have the smallest of excuses sometimes, right? Like life is life, life happens. But here's what happens. Oh, I would have done that, but I had to bring my dog to the vet today. Yeah. Prioritize that, yeah. schedule that yeah. in a way that doesn't affect your accomplishments yeah. on your to-do list. Now, if you have priorities that don't involve humans, that don't involve making a phone call or being in front of somebody, this has worked for me. If I know that I've got a lot on my list of things that I have to accomplish, why make it hard on myself? So instead of starting my work day at eight, why not start my work day at seven right. and spend the hour getting these little priorities out of the way before I start talking to humans, before what else? I start talking to customers? It, it's, a, it's a sense of accomplishment, and most people haven't even gotten to their office yet, and you've already done some great things that morning. That's 60 whole minutes dedicated to you and your yeah. day by yeah. yourself. Exactly. So Tracy has a question here. Um, Tracy. Tracy Fisher Fisher, thank you. Do you find it helpful to block out segments of time in your daily schedule to get your to-do list done? With the busy lifestyles we have now, it works great for me. Do you find I it I think helpful? Tracy has a really good point. You put it as a priority. Why not make one of your priorities like an appointment? If I write oh, down, yeah. if I write down tomorrow at 9:30, I'm meeting with Jay Morales for yes, an hour. It's important. Why wouldn't I put down some of the items on my to-do list as an appointment? Yes. Why wouldn't I treat it that way? So Tracy's got a really good point. And I think if you're intentional with your time, it helps with your to-do list. Mm -hmm. I mean, they time and, and importance and managing priorities are all all yeah. one. Yeah. So no, that and even like you know, you've got to, only you can decide what is a priority and what isn't. Like when I hear people say, they'll say, you know, I had all these things I wanted to do today and I didn't get around to it. But then they'll tell me about the really fun two hour lunch they had with their buddies. <laughs> so it really doesn't make any sense to me. You know, right. you didn't get your priorities done, but you found time to go golf nine holes or have a two hour lunch. That makes no sense to me. That is not managing your priorities. No, it's wasting your time. Let's not even sugarcoat it. You're pulling yourself yeah. away from what's most yeah. important. I think you should have leisure. Exactly. And I think that's real important too. And if you know on Wednesday, you're going to have a really fun lunch with your buddies and it may be an hour, hour and a half or two hours. Well, then you know that you're going to have to double up to get your stuff done. So, yeah. so you're not going to say, well, I didn't get that done today because of... The only accountable, the person that you have to answer to is yourself. I mean, we, you know, you can't rely on other people saying, Jay, did you get your priorities done today? No, no. You, you have can't. to answer to yourself. But yes, you know, Jay, we're talking about a separation here. We're talking about a separation of people that are okay being average and people that want to be great. And obviously, people that are tuning into our Facebook Live segments aren't people that want to be average. No. Or, or, or else they'd be doing something else right now. Absolutely. So Absolutely. we're talking to the people that want more out of life and want to become better. Right. Right. So talk about um, another agenda item. Eliminate less than activities. What do you mean by that? So when I say eliminate less than activities, less than to me means it's not a priority. It does not. You don't have to do it. And there's a lot on there. There's a lot on there. So take a look at your day and, and say, gosh, I've got all these things that I really need to accomplish. If there's something on there that you really don't need to new, do, you're in control of making that decision saying, I'm not going to do this because it's not going to benefit me and, and it's going to keep me from getting priorities done. We set priorities. Absolutely. Your, you know, your boss, your supervisor um, will set your quotas and what your goals are, but you have to set your priorities to accomplish those. And, and again, I think it goes back to being intentional and writing things down when the hand connects with paper and the mind sees it and, and you share it. Yeah. Can you talk about how important it is sometimes for some people who are getting started? Is that important? 
to share it with others? Maybe? Oh boy, you, you, you've hit on a really great point, Jay. And that is we want to be accountable we do. to people that we love, yes. to people that we care about, mm -hmm. to people that write our paychecks. Yeah, absolutely. So it's very important to share your priorities, even at breakfast or you're sitting down with your best friend or your spouse or your kids. It's very important to, to say to them what your priorities are today. Have them hold you accountable. Absolutely. And sharing your goals. Of course, you know I'm real big on sharing your goals. Because, because most, if you tell everybody. You're going to hold yourself accountable yes. with them. But not only that, people are generally good and they want to help you. But, you know, you, even though you're not asking for help, you're letting people know and they may bring it up later on down the road saying, hey, did you ever get that done that you were talking about? And and sometimes you'll go, oh, gosh, before I see them. It's yeah. that little bit of tension that keeps you going, yeah. which is healthy. I think it's healthy. I do so, Van, um, to wrap this up, you've got someone out there saying, I need my your help, Van. I need help now. I'm, gosh, Hire I'm managing. Me. Hire Van, number one. Is, <laughs> yes, so bring him to your company to I'll speak. I'll coach you. Yes. No. And, and what, what are you? Look into that camera. They're watching you right now. They're, what are you going to say to that one person who's like, man, I, I, I want to do this? You're on a level playing field with the rest of us. Mm -hmm. God didn't create you any different than he did any of us that are managing our priorities. Amen. You have the ability to make a change today. You have the God-given talent to make a change today and start tomorrow with your to-do list and watch what happens. You don't have to be great at it tomorrow. Right. You know how we've talked, Jay, you don't have to be great to get started at anything. Right. You just have to get started to be great. I love that. And so we all have to start somewhere. Maybe your list tomorrow has one item on it. But it's, it's a yes, start. Yes. And absolutely. we all are on a level playing field. Some of us that manage our priorities better made a choice to manage our priorities better. And you can do the same thing. We all have equal ability and equal talent if we bring it out. Here's my challenge to you. Here's one to-do list for all of you out there. It's on the bottom of the screen right now. Vandeeb.com free monthly motivational Thank newsletter. You. And I want you to be intentional about it. I want you to go there now. I want you to sign up. And Leslie Clark, thank you so much for your thumbs up. We appreciate you. Please share this broadcast. Please share our message. Be intentional about your life and make sure that you uh, tune into Van Deeb um, and uh, Ryan Daniel as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Please share this broadcast and we will follow up with you when you private message Van as well. Thank you so much for joining us today. Enjoy your CWS week and Tuesday. Thanks, Jay. Thank you. Appreciate this your feels time. good, buddy. Appreciate your time. All right. So.